All right, so I'm back. I want to talk about sections real quick. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is navigate to my site plan view here. So I'll double click on site and I'm going to maximize that window and close my hidden windows. Sometimes it's a, making me switch tabs in order to get my closed hidden windows. It's a little odd, but close hidden windows and ZE to zoom extents. And then I'm <clears throat> going to take a look at these section markers here. These are the section markers, these little black tabs. They're the way they're um, directed are noting which way they're looking. If you look over in your project browser, you should have a section one and a section two. So if you hover over that one, it'll tell you that it's section two. And if you hover over that one, it'll tell you that it's section one. So very similarly to the levels and to the elevation markers, um, these are not just notations. They're actually creating these views for you. So if I left click on this section, it's going to show me the range of this view, right? So this is what it's looking at. Okay. Um, I'm right now. I don't believe it will hyperlink because I do not have the section head turned on. So for example, if I left click on this, um, it's not going to hyperlink because I just have the tails on. You see this little circle right here. This one happens to be over the top of the elevation marker. If I click on that, it rotates through different options for that head, that end of the section. So I can rotate back to that. I can do the same thing on this side. Now, if I want to be able to hyperlink, I can have this section head active. Now you can see that there's that blue head there and I can hyperlink to that section. Okay. You'll notice that in this section, the view range is clipping the end of that piece off. All right, which I may not necessarily want. So I'm going to WT. Again, zoom extents, ZE for each one of these. And I'll go ahead and select that section. And you can see where that view range is clipping it right there. So if I just take this and drag it out, right, you can see it appear over here. So very similarly to the elevations, if I bring it in there, it's going to clip part of that away. It's just graphic in here. Again, you can come down. There's the far clipping, the far clip offset. Okay. All right. Now you can also create your own sections. So if I select this section, I'm just going to select this guy and see if he's going to give me a little headache selecting him cycle back through to where I have just that guy. To create sections, you go to your view tab and there's a section option, select section, and you can section through this guy. Now you'll notice it's giving me 135 degrees, so I know that's a 45 degree angle. So if I left click, it creates a section. You see the view range is set here. I can drag that out so I can look through the extents. Now it's not possible to snap with a section, which is a bit annoying for those of us that like to be precise, but you can zoom in and as annoying as this is, you can pick that section line and use your arrow keys to sort of nudge that in place as close as you can get it. And I know that is bananas, but um, again, the closer you get, the more small the nudge is. So if I select this guy, now and nudge him, right? He goes to right there. It's like Photoshop. And you can notice that there's actually line weight right now, like that the section cut line is thicker than the mass outline. And we'll talk about that later. You can actually type TL and that'll turn them all into thin lines, as thin as possible. And you can just get super close. Okay, so there's that section. I'm going to type ZE, zoom extents on this guy. And I'm pressing down my middle uh, scroll wheel and to pan. Now I can double click on this and it sends me into that section view. Okay. And then again, I've gone over this a little bit, but I could come down and change this to a shaded view and you would see the red, you know, with that in the background. Here's where it's cutting sections. All right. 
So that's pretty much it for section views. I think the only other thing of note is that similarly to elevation views, you can um, select a different type of section marker. So if I select that section, go to the pull down over here. Mm, I haven't loaded any additional sections. Maybe we'll go over that um, later and I'll show you how to do that. Okay. All right.